Hello everybody, this is Mirko Nikov and I'm back and today we're in processing again and with a new algorithm. Uh, it is a packing algorithm. So if you haven't heard uh, of what is packing algorithm or you want just to see a very simple packing algorithm, this is uh, the video for you. So this algorithm packs uh, some rectangles in the minimal uh, possible area it can pack them. So uh, it is a greedy algorithm and what greedy means it is not always precise and sometimes you have mistakes and not not mistake but the algorithm uh, a greedy algorithm is any algorithm that just looks to get the best possible uh, step or the best possible solution for this step so it sometimes you have uh, you have configurations where it doesn't find the minimal area it can pack them and I will show you uh, uh, I will show you uh, in um, just a minute but this is it it packs some rectangles so I have uh, what I've done here in in the previous videos I have showed you the window class that I've created this window class allows you to uh, to create these uh, little cool win uh, cool little windows here and uh, you can uh, move them and drag them and interact with them and this algorithm this greedy pack algorithm that this class uh, that I've created for this video it uses a class a merge sort class so uh, an al sorting algorithm that I've implement uh, implemented in a previous video so there will be a suggestion to both uh, these um, merge sort and window class classes so yeah that's pretty much it what it uses and now the greedy pack algorithm it's simple to use it just uh, the uh, you, you're gonna see how the code works it's very easy but it's uh, it just uh, accepts um, two-dimensional array with the rectangles inside and the width and the height the maximum width and the height of uh, of it so uh, where they uh, where they can be packed uh, and now let we, let me show you where uh, what I mean by greedy I mean that if I I think I I can just disable let me disable this and I will show you what yeah so in this configuration it says that this um, and this here rectangle has the biggest area so it packs uh, packs him first uh, this is uh, due to the sorting algorithm uh, so this packing algorithm works on a principle where the biggest area the biggest the rectangles with the biggest areas are packed first and then uh, the rectangles with the smaller ones so uh, as you can see uh, the biggest area is packed now we have two equal areas here but uh, oriented 90 degrees uh, and if we uh, we can see that uh, we can see that this here this optimization of uh, converting here of uh, just translating the uh, second uh, the box with the title uh, to just to here it just optimizes the area uh, a, a very like it is the most optimized uh, solution but he, this solution is not the most optimized because uh, uh, we're gonna uh, I will actually I will actually uh, explain in another video probably how this algorithm step by step works and I will tell uh, I will exactly tell you uh, why there is here why the to, uh, the second window is here not uh, here now you can extend this algorithm uh, pretty much pretty much to like for example to uh, get this uh, two in here to like or to center them out some somehow and uh, take a look in the uh, of the algorithm it's uh, free and it's posted on github so there will be a link in the description below and um, 
and probably an explanation of further explanation on github and a video explaining you how step by step uh step by step explaining you how the algorithm works but the uh, main thing you must uh, see here you must uh, consider is that it's very uh, it, it the windows i'm creating here are not necessary and if you have any rectangles it will pack them and it will just uh, output the output the um, output the result so the result is actually the x and y coordinates of uh, the rectangles it doesn't work uh, it doesn't allow uh, the algorithm the algorithm is not made to rotate the rectangles so, uh, 90 degrees or, or whatever um, or counterclockwise or uh, clockwise because it is just uh, just an algorithm made for statically. Uh, if you have a rectangles, uh, if you have rectangles that are already created and you can't adjust the size of the rectangles, how would you pack them in the uh, in the in an area that is the minimalistic, the most optimized pack? Uh, and so uh, what is the complexity of algorithm of, of the, this algorithm for those who uh, want to uh, get further in the algorithm? So the complexity is n squared plus n log n. So what uh, n log n is for the sorting of the uh, of uh, the rectangle. So if you have 10 rectangles in is n squared plus n log n. I think so, yeah. So uh, the n log n is for the sorting of the actual rectangles, which is very, very little uh, compared to the n square. Uh, n square is 100 operations if you have 10 uh, rectangles, but you do these 100 operations just one once and uh, and you don't and you uh, in probably you, you won't have uh, this need to sort them again and again. And you can see why it's n square in the explanation video. And if you have any questions or uh, comments, uh, put them in the section below. I will uh, respond them as quick uh, in um, uh, as soon as possible to them. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope I see you again. Peace.